Fender over Louisville preparations have been underway for months on both sides of the river. WDRB's Lexi Ratterman shares the plans from Southern Indiana police to keep the crowd safe. Lexi. Just like every other year, Thunder Over Louisville is an all hands on deck operation, and that goes for over here in southern Indiana as well, where Jeffersonville Police Department just shared some of their plans with us this morning. That includes partnering with many other agencies. Some of those other agencies include Clarksville Police Department, as well as fire departments, as well as Clark County EMA and several other areas. Now they've talked about all of their different dozens of agencies that they work with, including LMPD in the planning for crowd safety. They've been working on those plans for months. They include land and water safety strategies. Officials echo the same advice every year. Patience is key for anyone wanting to watch the air show and fireworks from the waterfront. After the fireworks, we ask for patience. All right, it takes it takes all day to get all the folks down there into the event area. It's going to take some time to get everyone out. And again, safety is the uh, uh, the key and that's what we're focused on. There will be many road closures on the Indiana side throughout Jeffersonville and Clarksville. They surround the riverfront areas. Once roadblocks start, at least in Jeffersonville, you do need a parking pass to get through. Or if you're a resident, you need to show your ID or some mail with your address on it. Now we have the specific road closures and roadblocks uh, and the times that those will be starting on our website, WDRB.com for you to look at there. Reporting live, Lexi Ratterman, WDRB News.